Dementia is a very rapidly growing chronic disease issue in the Western world. People are living longer. People are also less active physically than they ever were before. And that combination of things can lead to, and is, I think has led to, an increase in the prevalence of dementia. There are no current drug therapies. For, you can't take a pill and fix your brain at this point. But there's some very promising research that suggests that exercise is an intervention which does protect your brain and your ability, your cognitive capacity. I'm Daniel Green. I'm from the University of Western Australia. I'm in the School of Sports Science, Exercise and Health. I also have a position in Liverpool in the United Kingdom where I'm the Professor of Cardiovascular Physiology. What we're doing with Phil, and what we're doing together I should say, is trying to work out the mechanisms responsible or that link exercise to cognition. And one theory, which is evolving, is that it's a hemodynamic thing, that it has to do with blood flow to the brain. And there's some promising evidence that the heart and the brain are linked in this way, that if you have a healthy cardiovascular system and you have good cardiac output and your blood pressure is well controlled, then your brain is protected. Phil Ainsley, I'm a professor in the School of Health and Exercise Sciences. It started notionally about eight years ago, all our work is in how blood flow gets to the brain and lots of Dan's work is in how blood flow gets around the body. So we collaborate on how to measure blood flow and he's helped us out a lot over the years to be able to do that using non-invasive methods. So we built that relationship over the last few years and we've been involved with some grants to look to see how exercise training might impact on cardiac blood flow and also blood flow to the brain, especially in people who are at risk from dementia where we were able to help him with some technology and, and building some equipment and uh, research capacity when he came to Okanagan. And he's been very helpful for us also because his expertise is in measuring blood flow to the brain and that's something that we couldn't do. So it's been a very effective two-way street in terms of collaboration and it just goes to show you know, what can be achieved when people get along and when their labs are doing work that is synergistic